Hello guys, Luna here. Welcome back to another Warzone video. Black Ops Cold War is out next week and in this video I want to go over how Warzone will change with the release of the new game, including how weapons, progression, operators and the battle pass will play out going forward. First, a little info on preloading. If you have pre-ordered the game, preloading is now available. The game's initial file size is actually pretty big. 95 gigabytes on PS4, 93 gigabytes on Xbox One, 133 gigabytes on the PS5, 136 gigabytes on the Xbox Series X and the Xbox Series S, 84 gigabytes on PC or 125 gigabytes if you download with the Ultra Graphics. There will also be an 11 gigabyte day one update, so a big download for everyone. And of course, you can't preload on the PS5 and Xbox Series X just yet if you don't have the console yet, but that will be the file size when you do get that. Okay, so let's look at how Warzone will work in the new game. When the game launches, you will see nothing really different with the initial game until the launch of Season 1, which is expected in early December, introducing our initial new content to the game. And Season 1 has already been teased with a new roadmap picture that was released by Treyarch, and you can see that on the screen. It covers all of Call of Duty games, but for Warzone specifically, expect new weapons and a new classified Warzone experience. It will probably be an event of some kind that will unlock new secrets. Moving on to how player progression will work, on November 13th, Black Ops Cold War is set to launch with an updated player progression system for Cold War and Black Ops Zombies as well. You will do military ranks and once completed, you'll be part of the new leveling system. The rank progressions are pretty much the same as the current Modern Warfare, the enlisted levels 1 to 55 will simply change the name to military ranks and you will gain levels by gaining XP in the usual ways. However, one big change coming to the game will be the switching of Modern Warfare and Warzone to the new leveling system, but that won't be happening until the first season drops in December. So that means no matter what version of the game you're playing after December, Warzone, Cold War Zombies or the old Modern Warfare, you can level up the same character. After the December Season 1 launches, the Modern Warfare Warzone levels will reset to change to whatever level you have already gained in Cold War. But don't worry, it's only the XP levels that are resetting. Any weapons, killstreaks and perks you've previously unlocked will still be available. Your Season Official Progression is now known as Season Levels, which incorporates a Seasonal Prestige leveling system, and these are fully synchronized between all three games, although it's easier to prestige in Cold War because challenges, for example, are geared towards that game. For weapons, every weapon you've unlocked in Modern Warfare, as well as every weapon you're going to unlock in Black Ops Cold War, is planned to continue to be available in Warzone as well. This includes Modern Warfare's primary and secondary weapons, including blueprints. The current plan is for Warzone to also include all primary and secondary weapons available throughout the lifespan of Cold War, including launch and season weapons as well, as well as every single blueprint. Naturally, this includes the assortment of free weapons you receive during every season of Modern Warfare just for playing the game. So basically, every weapon in Modern Warfare and all the new weapons from Cold War, even if they're similar weapons, will be available for you to pick when you're playing Warzone, and so there's going to be a ton of different weapons that you can choose to play with. That also means if you've spent a ton of time unlocking your favourite guns in Warzone right now and getting, say, the Damascus and Obsidian camos, you can still use them in Cold War going forward. Operators then are also going to work in the same way. There will be new operators coming to Cold War at launch and throughout the seasons, but every operator already in Modern Warfare and every quip, finisher and anything else you've unlocked for them will be available throughout the entire time that Cold War is available. Likewise, any new operators you unlock in Cold War will also be available in Modern Warfare and Warzone. So for the Battle Pass system then, you already know how it's going to work. The leveling, the new content will be shared across Cold War, Zombies, Modern Warfare and Warzone. So all four versions of the game are going to share all their content. And no matter what game you're playing, you're going to level up the same character. For the in-game store, depending on what game you're in will determine what the store content will look like. The Warzone store will show a lot more content that's Warzone related, and the zombie store will be likewise. But of course, almost all content can be used in either game mode, and if it isn't, it will be clearly labeled. Lastly, crossplay will be available in all games, and if you're playing Modern Warfare and want to play zombies with friends, for example, then you don't technically need to switch games. 
Only the party leader will need to. They can invite you to a game on any of the game modes in what is a new system called cross title invites and it's designed to make switching games with a party easier to do with so many variations of the game coming. So guys that is how Warzone will work when it's released for Black Ops Cold War. Essentially nothing much is changing initially but every piece of content added to Cold War will be added to Warzone and of course everything you've unlocked for Modern Warfare already will be available. Going forward we can expect map changes and more but initially things will be quite familiar. Guys thanks for watching I will keep you updated with Warzone updates as they happen so look out for that, like, comment and subscribe and I will see you all next time.